Our first lesson is about equivalent fractions. Equivalent fractions name the same part of a whole or set. That's easy to say, but what does it really mean? One half of this circle is red, and one half is yellow. If we divide our circle into four equal parts, two-fourths describes the yellow part of the circle. Both one-half and two-fourths name the yellow part of the circle. If we divide the circle into eight equal parts, four-eighths of the circle is yellow. So that's what it means to say that one-half, two-fourths, and four-eighths are equivalent fractions. Equivalent fractions name the same part of a whole. Let's ask baby Leon if he'll help us understand how equivalent fractions name the same part of a set. Hey, baby Leon, can you help us out for a little while? We'll take that as a yes. Thank you, Baby Leon. Baby Leon has 12 red blocks, but he only needs two-thirds of them to build his favorite castle. We already know how to find the fraction of a number, but let's help Leon find two-thirds of 12. The denominator, 3, tells us to divide the set of 12 blocks into three equal parts. 12 divided by 3 equals 4. So we have three stacks with four blocks in each stack. The numerator, two, tells us that Leon needs only two of these stacks of four. That's eight blocks. Two-thirds of twelve equals eight. Okay, Leon, go ahead and build your castle. Hey, look out! Oh. That was Baby Leon's big sister, Lola. She's figured out how to walk, but she hasn't got the hang of stopping yet. Okay, Leon, don't cry. We'll help you again. This time, Leon wants to use four-sixths of his 12 red blocks to build his castle. The denominator, six, tells us to divide the 12 blocks into six equal parts. Since 12 divided by six is two, there are two blocks in each stack. The numerator, four, tells us that Leon will use four of these stacks. That's eight blocks. Four six of 12 equals eight. Remember the first time baby Leon tried to build his castle? Two thirds of 12 is eight. Four sixths of twelve also equals eight. So we can say four sixths is equivalent to two thirds because these fractions name the same part of the set. All right, Leon, now you can build your castle. <laughs> oh no, Lola, look out! Relax, Leon. We'll help you one more time. Now Leon has decided to use eight twelfths of his set of red blocks to build his castle. Into how many equal parts should we divide the set of red blocks? Twelve parts. Twelve is our denominator. We will have one block in each part because twelve divided by twelve equals one. How many of these groups will Leon need? Leon needs eight groups, because eight is our numerator. That's eight blocks. Eight twelfths of twelve equals eight. Eight twelfths of twelve is another name for eight. This means eight twelfths, four sixths, and two-thirds of the same set 
are equivalent fractions. These fractions name the same part of a set. Two-thirds, four-sixths, and eight-twelfths are equivalent fractions because equivalent fractions name the same part of a whole or a set. What if we have three red blocks and six green balls? Two-thirds of the red blocks equals two. Four-sixths of the green balls equals four. In this example, two-thirds and four-sixths are not equivalent fractions. Why? These fractions don't describe parts of the same set. They describe parts of different sets. Two-thirds of the set of blocks does not equal four-sixths of the set of balls. Hey! Hey! Yous rounded types can't be in our set! Why, just look at yous! Your corners is all rounded off, and you spend all your time just bouncing around! Oh, yeah? Who says we ever wanted to be in a lousy set with a bunch of stinking blockheads like you fellers? Okay, fellas, calm down. That's enough. There's no need to quarrel just because you're different. Now, shake hands and make up. That's much better. Remember, equivalent fractions name the same part of a whole or a set. Why is it important to understand equivalent fractions? Well, they won't help you get rich quick. But understanding equivalent fractions will help you do better in math especially when we start simplifying fractions.